Hi there everybody. Just wanted to do a quick little video here. I've been working all weekend at getting a uh, class 2 body cut and fitted to my Spare Times Hobby Z Pro chassis. Um, still a few things in the works, but it's coming together. I think it's looking pretty good. But what I realized when I was doing this is, and this is these are my first couple of hard bodies I'm trying to do. Um, I built one up for class 1, this one for class 2, and uh, I'm making the mounting points what I think is pretty normal, which is the screw holes in the side of the body is what's going to hold the uh, the body onto the chassis. And once I once it's screwed in, it's going to be a real pain to get in and unplug the battery, um, plug it back in, and things like that, which I will need to do not just to save the battery, but also because I've got a direct powered servo in it. I don't want to leave power live to that when I don't need to so what I did is I got on Amazon got a couple of parts and made a dead man switch using XT60s that is pretty simple and um, does the job pretty well I think so what it is is this is where the plug is in the back um, I just got the plug that will go in here and push that in and once that's in there you can then at that point turn the truck on and when I'm done with it and waiting for the next time to go just pull the plug and it goes dead and we did this with a couple of pieces you can get these uh, off of Amazon well the, all of the XT60 you can get off Amazon but these um, are on there they're not hard to find and what I did with this is set it up as an inline plug so that if I need to do work on the truck or the body, I can unplug these and the body comes off. And on top of that, if I were to run a Lexan body or some other different body where I don't need to do that, I can also plug the battery directly in just like normal. So pretty neat solution I think um, I don't know if I can claim credit for the idea but this is what I got scratching my head and came up with to deal with this so hope it's helpful um, if you have any questions post in the comments below thanks